Okay, so let's talk about the unfollow gate uh, that everybody's all upset about. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that we're going to have probably, I don't know about a unique take, but at least one that uh, I don't know that I've heard too much of anyway. Um, and it looks like our potential guest may be in the green room now. And this, yeah. this actually might be a good topic to uh, to throw yeah, his way to start off. Let's so, bring so. KG in. What's happening, Gentlemen. brother? Gentlemen. KG, how's it going, man? Good. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I got you. Fine. Yeah. Hey. Thank you guys for being the most patient human beings in the world. And on after all your patience, I even got the time zone wrong. So apologies, but thank you. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for having me. All good, man. All good. Welcome to the show. Thank Welcome you, thank to the you. show, man. Uh, nice to meet you in per well, kind of in person as well. Um, but yeah, we we really wanted to have you on because you know you're you're real. I think thoughtful mind in this ecosystem um you know obviously for anybody that doesn't know kg the creator of internet money wallet which is pretty unique to paul's chain and i think you have you know from what i've seen you on twitter and you had a space a couple of weeks ago i was listening in on you have a very like um you know calm about things and are very thoughtful I, I thought you had um you had a clip on on twitter i saw the other day too that was really cool so i want to get into that stuff with you but sure. right now just in the flow of the show, because we just we're getting to this point. I'm curious your opinion on it. We'll talk to Ewok as well. So Richard, of course, everybody the other day is, um, you know, some people, not everybody, people are up in arms. And, oh, OK, he started to unfollow people. Um, I actually think I have the tweet bookmarked and I'm, I, I think I sent it to you as well. Ewok, you may even have it on hand anyway. Um, let me see here. So he started off the thread just by saying the founder of Bitcoin isn't known for following anyone on X, worked well. And then he just said, this account also follows zero people. When you don't really read Twitter, but follow people, you have no idea what trash might be fed by the algo to your followers. Thus, to protect your followers, it's safer to follow no one. No one can claim buy this trash. RH follows me and ethics win. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know how many people he was actually following, but he, he went off on a couple of tweets about that. And... Um, yeah, there you go, Ewok. Um, KG, I'm interested in, in in your thoughts on that because my opinion of it is, it to me it made sense for him to probably never really follow anyone, just because some people do. I think use it as an endorsement by de facto. You know, like, well, this guy's following me, whatever product I may be creating or whatever thoughts I have, he endorses, which I think is naive. I can't imagine anybody would actually think that, but some do. So I think this was a, a good move. Um, he never followed me, so I wouldn't be worried either way. But um, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on it. As a guy who does have a product out there that is held in high regard, especially in the Pulse Chain you know, circle, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think it was a necessary step by RH? And um, yeah, I'd just like to hear your thoughts on this whole thing. Sure. Now, this has definitely been a hot topic in the community, has it not? Yeah. And I, I can see both sides of the argument in that people believe that by Richard following them, it is a form of support. And now I'll speak from the perspective of Richard was following both myself and the internet money project Twitter. Now we never took that as an endorsement because again, like you said, that that's a stretch is every single person you're following an endorsement of that person. I follow people that I staunchly disagree with mm -hmm. simply because I want to engage with their content or I like to have a, a rounded perspective. So I personally never took it as an endorsement. And when he unfollowed everybody, I also didn't take it as an offense. I wasn't, I don't feel entitled to be followed. And I actually can see where he's coming from because there were people and I never publicly said, Oh, he endorsed us. Now I shared the news because it is exciting, you know, cause it's a level of like, oh man, the big man, you know, is at least noticed you for whatever that's good or bad noticed you. Right. Hmm. So I, I can see where he's come from because there were people out there who had, who were using it as a true endorsement. Like I saw explicit Richard Hart endorses this product or this person's content so it was getting kind of dangerous and then it also added the element of hey if he wasn't following you that said something and i put it in quotes because it shouldn't have that said something that maybe you were a bad person or you what you were talking about wasn't good enough when when what you were talking about could have been the best thing in the world 
So it started to become this metric of validation and approval. And he's so I think it made a lot of sense for him to say, I'm just going to unfollow everybody. And that way I'm not pseudo endorsing people or people exploiting me, or I'm not hurting people that I'm not following. So I think it kind of leveled things. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I the way I see it, I, he did follow me as well. Um, and, and I think I had told you this in, in the green room before I, I viewed it as a, a badge of honor. I was here early. Um, he followed a lot of us early uh, that didn't obviously piss him off along the way somewhere <laughs> or another. Um, and, you know, I never looked at it as an endorsement. I never launched anything myself. So, you know, I, I wouldn't look at it that way. But I, I do agree. There were some out there uh, that used it uh, to their advantage, um, whether, you know, he really did endorse them or whether he just clicked that button that said follow at one point um, and never noticed what they were doing, if he liked it or not. So yeah, it could have been very dangerous, but you know, another way to look at it is, does it free up people now to, to speak more freely um, without the worry of having him unfollow or block or, or, or whatever. I think it allows people to be their creative selves without having to worry about that anymore. So, you know, as much as it, people look at it as a bad thing, I think it could be a good thing too. So yeah, it really didn't bother me one way or another. I never used it as an accolade or anything like that. I was, I was proud of it, obviously that he followed me, but you know, I, I, I didn't, I, I didn't make it known. <laughs> I hear exactly what you're saying because I, I know that also some people tailored their speech as to not lose that follow, right? <laughs> and so I, I, I think all things considered, I mean, if there's negative. Maybe, I mean, you could argue maybe there is a, a possible negative, but if anything, it's a net positive probably Yeah, that it occurred. Sure. I, I think so too. Echoing what you said, Ewok. Yeah, I saw Travon actually tweeted this today um, that people like uh, that really like were tailoring what they said also. As you said, KG, to um, what RH might want to hear, they're now free to shill whatever meme coins they want to because they're not going to lose an unfollow or anything like that. Right. Maybe it was KD finally coming around to the Tang Gang or something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> something something made RH unfollow everybody. So, um, But no, I do think it's a good thing. And I don't think anybody should have ever, you know, I, anytime you're like tailoring what you're saying to appease or appeal to somebody else, I, you know, I don't think you're really acting with the best intentions, you know, anyway, but um, yeah, I, I think it's great. And we, Ewok and I were saying earlier too, plenty of times RH has just publicly said, maybe not an endorsement, but he said, Hey, a lot of people use hedron.pro or whatever. Um, you know, and he's shouted out like other people like that. So I, I think as long as he does that, that it's fine, but I didn't really have any other thoughts on it. Did you have any other stuff on that KG or Ewok? Nope. Well, I guess the, the final thought to your point, he actually, because he sent out three tweets in about a month time frame. He he said positive things about the pH ecosystem. He said positive things about liquid loans. And then he said some positive things about internet money. And even when he said, though, I still didn't use it as an endorsement. And to this day, I've never called it an endorsement. I say exactly right. what it was. He said positive things and that was a great day you know for yeah. him to because not not only as the project founder but even vitalik talks about products on ethereum charles hoskinson talks about products on cardano brian armstrong talks about products on base chain so it's not crazy that richard is talking about products that are built on his chain i think there's an element in this community though that if Richard says something, there's a little more fanaticism about it, maybe. Oh, yeah. A and <laughs> I don't know if little more is the, is the word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There, uh, let me, let me, there's some fanaticism about it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, I think people may take the good things he says and the bad things he says a little too, too far. Cause at the end of the day, incredibly talented individual incredibly intelligent individual, still a man like the rest of us.